Hi everybody, welcome to another video. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be trying out PlayStation Remote Play app on an Android tablet connecting to a PlayStation 5 just to test out how the Remote Play works on the PlayStation 5. Um, I haven't tested this yet so I'm not sure how it's going to work or if it's going to work. I believe it's supposed to work so we'll just go ahead and test it out. Um, so I've gone to the Play Store, I've installed the Remote Play app and I'm just going to launch it now. As you can see I've not signed into it yet. So we're just going to, this is asking us to provide uh, some uh, data privacy settings, I guess, um, or specify how much data we want to share. I'm going to set that to limited. And then um, the next thing it's asking us to do is actually connect the DualShock 4 controller to the tablet. So I've got a DualShock 4 controller here. I'm not using, I'm not going to try and pair the DualShock 5. So a DualShock controller 4 there. And the instructions say, that uh, to use a DualShock 4 controller, turn on Bluetooth function on the device and then press the PS button on the controller. So um, I'm guessing the way you turn on the Bluetooth function here is just by holding the actual share button here. Uh, if you can see it or not, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna go and hold that button and see what happens. Uh, I haven't used my PlayStation 4 pad in quite some time, but I have charged it. So I'm gonna hold that button and then press the PlayStation button and I've held them and now you, what you can see is the button it goes into a pairing mode so just to recap on that again you hold the share button and then you hold the PlayStation button at the same time until you see the light start flashing now that's in a pairing mode so if I press on go to Bluetooth settings it should start scanning for the device so let's hit scan there on the top right corner and let's see if it finds the controller that's still flashing away at the moment it's pulsing so I believe that's still in a pairing mode it hasn't found anything yet it's finding a wireless controller so that's the one there so let's see if it pairs right well, it's going to pair to the device now um, so I'm just going to accept that right okay and I'm trying to get the exposure right there we go so it's paired uh, the PlayStation light has also got the light bar on there's also gone blue so you can see that's paired what looks like it successfully and just moving the uh, joypad buttons up and down you can see it's definitely functioning it's controlling the device so let's go back to the app now um, and it's progressed on from that screen as you can see um, which do you want to connect to? So I want to connect to the PlayStation 5. So it's good to see that that's already in the app. So we're not having to wait for any new functionality to be added. Before connecting to the PlayStation 5, use Remote Play enabled on PS5. Now this I have already done. So I have already um, made sure that the PlayStation has these settings enabled. Um, though my PlayStation is actually powered off right now. So what we're doing is we're going to do this test um, from a uh, standby state on the PlayStation 5. So it's searching for connections um, and let's see if it finds the PlayStation, whether it's going over the internet or local network, I'm not sure, but it does actually say searching via the internet. So let's assume it's going um, over the internet. I think I've just heard the PlayStation turn on, I'm not sure. Too many things running on the other side of the room. Um, it's still searching at the moment. I'm hoping this works with the PlayStation uh, in a standby state. That's supposed to be how it works. And there you go. So linking your PS5, connecting to the PS5. Um, and checking the network and we're in. So I guess that's it. We're in, right? Um, controllers here. It seems to be working absolutely fine. Let's play some games. So if I just show you there that I am using the controller, definitely I'm using the controller. Um, I've got the full display up there. That's the full PlayStation 5 screen. Let's actually go to the home page and let's uh, fire up a game just to see how it performs. Um, maybe Mortal Kombat will be a good test. Um, we'll test Mortal Kombat. We'll test a couple of different games to see how they work. Um, the Last of Us Remastered. Just like playing this again on PlayStation 5, fantastic game. If you haven't already played it, I'd highly recommend it. Um, so let's go ahead and try Mortal Kombat. Now, 
it's already running and I'm just going to turn the well, it's connected to a headset so you're not going to get the sound out of that let me see if I can turn the headset off just so we can see how the sound is as well so I've just installed this game I haven't actually played it so this is going to be the first time we're playing it I'm not going to worry too much about the settings here um, I'm not going to worry much about that either um, and we'll just continue for now so it's giving you some information about Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate I'm going to just go to settings here quickly let's see what the settings are um, for this app or if there's any options to change the quality of it I'm just going to close that for a second um, I'm going to disconnect for a second I'm going to see if there's any options to change this. check the streaming quality so you can see I'm signed in there um, Right, let's see, video quality for remote play. So by default, it's stuck in 540p standard resolution. So we want to test this at maximum resolution. So let's go to uh, 1080p, which is the maximum available resolution here. And let's, oh, PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 resolution is separate. So I have to be careful here. So I'm setting the PS5 resolution to 1080p as well. Frame rate, let's set the frame rate to high. So let's see how it performs. Uh, with all the settings set to high so that's done now let's go to PlayStation again it's going to connect hopefully because it's on it will connect a little bit quicker this time and we can test some games out so should get some audio as well now going through all the stuff that's been unlocked this is the version that's actually included with the PlayStation Plus collection so should have I'm guessing um, all the characters unlocked let's just go to say so there's a slight lag so as you can see here now if I'm pushing up and down here on the pad uh, there is a slight lag there isn't there so it's going to be interesting playing a beat him up with a bit of a lag but let's see i'm guessing this is probably because i've got the streaming quality set to high and the uh, frame rate set to high as well we'll test it afterwards by setting the quality down a little bit let's just go to story mode and let's just try so it really is running at a great frame rate there's no lag there at all it, it seems to be running at an extremely high frame rate. I wish I could see what the frame rate was, but it's not showing me anywhere on the screen. Um, but definitely a respectable frame rate. It's not, it's not jittery at all. I wonder if I can skip this quickly. I can. So what I really need to get into is a fight scene. When I'm in, when I'm in an actual fight, then I'll know just how bad or bad the lag is or how playable this is. But first impressions working great, right? PS5 remote play working out of the box. Nice to see. Microsoft, you need to follow suit. Your your Xbox had the ability to stream to PC at least, and that doesn't seem to be working either now. So I'm not very happy with that. So on the remote play side, Sony is winning so far, in my opinion. Now this is no way of skipping this because it's actually an active cutscene. Oh, package check. Johnny Cage's classic package check. No! 
Let's skip that. Let's skip as much as we can. And we're in a fight. So I'm Johnny Cage here at the moment. So there's slight lag, so if I'm pressing punch. I think it's too significant to be honest, considering everything set at high. Uh, there again, you can see, it must be like it's under a second, it's very hard to measure. Right, so that works quite well. Hit the PlayStation button. Can we go back home? Yes, we can. Let's quickly try a PlayStation 5 game because that's what we're here to see. PlayStation 5 streaming. So, Spider-Man. Let's see how Spider-Man is. Now we're streaming something that's probably also um, high quality of game, I guess. So, I'm not sure what to expect. Loving the load times, PlayStation 5 load times, as you can see, extremely quick. Not taking long to get into a game at all there. So, slight lag, would it affect the gameplay? Probably not. If you're out and about and you want it to play and you've got your joypad, I think you'd be able to manage it. You know what, honestly, with with considering this got everything set to high, so we're running at 1080p with a high frame rate, this really is extremely playable. The lag is absolutely minimal. Absolutely perfectly playable. Great looking game. Absolutely love swinging around in this game. If you haven't tried it again, another one I definitely recommend trying. First time I've played a Spider Man game or owned a Spider Man game, even. I didn't own a Spider Man game previously, but it's fantastic. So there you have it. Um, I think that really does show off how well the remote play works. Um, I'm on a wireless connection here, so I'm assuming this is going over Wi Fi. If you're interested in seeing me try this out on a mobile data connection, I'm on Vodafone Network, I'm more than happy to try it on my phone um, just to see how it works and how the experience would be when you're out and about. But if you want to play around the house, away from the TV or if the TV is occupied and you want to still play PlayStation and you've got a tablet or maybe even the PC app, we'll try the PC app next time. Um, it's definitely a great option. I'm managing to play this absolutely fine over remote play, no issues whatsoever. As you can see, I'm just swinging around, I'm trying not to go to the target. But there you go. Ah, oh, I've made it to the target anyway, so there you go. Right, I think on that note, we'll, uh, we'll pause it and we'll exit. Hopefully you found that useful. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Is this a feature that you think you'll be using? Um, have you used it already? If you have used it, how, what is your experience with it so far? Is it playable for you from your perspective? Um, I haven't tried playing with a PlayStation 5 pad on the remote play. That's the first time I've used it and that was using the PS4 pad. 
Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you like the video, as always, definitely leave a thumbs up, please. And don't forget, forget to hit that subscribe button over there somewhere if you haven't already done so, so you can be uh, notified of upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the time. Take care. All the best. Bye-bye.